Hello and welcome to a haul. I don't know why I'm clapping so much, but today's haul is going to be sort of like an outfit compilation from Misguided and Rival Closet. So everyone knows Misguided, we love Misguided, they've recently brought out a jeans and nice t-shirt section which just like answers all of our prayers, but I also got some pieces from Rival Closet. Now I've previously done a haul from Rival Closet and they are an Instagram and website based clothing company that honestly I don't know how they find their magical clothes but they're just beautiful. They're like those clothes that you see on Instagram that you never think you're going to be able to get your hands on but you do. So I'm going to sort you out and I've kind of planned it that like the items create looks at least it did in my head. We'll see how it turns out. I've unpackaged all the rival closet things, but I haven't unpackaged the misguided package. So we're like skipping between them both. First things first, let's open up this bad boy. So, as I said, try to create looks, just because I think it's so much easier when watching a haul for you to be able to shop the whole look or to be able to recreate it yourself. So I didn't just want to try on the item, I actually wanted to show it to you how I'd wear it if you get me. Oh, why am I finding this so difficult to open? I can't even remember what I've matched up with anything. Oh, let's just pull out this to begin with. Now also with this misguided package, I tried to pull in some pieces that aren't necessarily typical Misha. Now if you've seen my videos before, this is typical Misha, pink, girly. Sometimes I do change it up, like I, am, I can go a tiny bit edgy, edgy. But I am a very feminine dresser, so some of these pieces are girly, but some of them are a little bit more different for me. So, yes. Also, if you've never seen my face before, then you should subscribe. But we've got this top from Misguided. Now, this takes me back to our old... Was it your PE top that looked like this, or was this like your summer top? I can't really remember, but you know like a school polo, this literally looks like a school polo. So I never quite thought I'd be buying this to wear fashionably. The buttons on it at the front are a little bit meh, but I genuinely think I'm just going to look like a school kid. It's like a cropped version, so it's like an adult version, and I feel like if we undid this bit so it looks less schooly, this could look quite cute. And I can make it a bit more slouchy. But the reason I picked up this little red top was to go with these pants from Rival Closet that slay life. Ba bam! Yes! These are beautiful. So we all know that the popper pant is so on trend at the moment and there are so many people doing the popper pant. But what I love about these ones is they aren't just like a jersey cheap fabric. Like they're a proper trouser fabric and then they've got like a really nice front. They're not just the elastics. The elastics are the back to give you the shape. But around the front they've actually got like the whole button and zip situation. So these are some of the best quality popper pants I've seen so far in the market. And I do actually have a pair of these. But I don't necessarily think that they're that typical Misha. So I thought it was quite nice to mix things up. I forgot to show the popper bit. So we all know how it works, we have a little stripe down the side and we've got some buttons that you can either pop up or pop down or pop open, I don't know, is that the technical term? I'm not quite sure. But yes, these are beautiful, such nice quality and they fit beautifully, I'm in love with them and I thought this could make such a cool kid outfit that Misha wouldn't necessarily normally go for, but you know, 2018, we're trying out some new styles on this channel, I say, and then like next week I'll be in pink and frilly. But anyway, I think this could be a really cool look. Pow! I feel like a karate kid. I feel like the kid that's escaped the PE lesson, or like the really extra one who like wears their PE stuff in a really cool way. Like these pants just look insane. It's like cheeky bit of leg but not too much. And I think I've done quite a good job of matching this top with the trousers because I've never actually seen this style of top with these sort of pants. So it kind of gives like an even more sports luxe vibe but it still looks quite classy. So I'm absolutely digging this look. 
Moving onwards, I'm trying to like take out the pieces from the misguided package that I know whether they, what outfit they go with. Oh, okay. These are hard to miss. Now we've got another pants set. But this time the pants are from misguided and the top is from Rival Closet. So these pants, I can't tell if this outfit is going to look appalling and like I've escaped prison or amazing. We'll see. So, OMG, these are completely see-through. You won't be able to see this on the camera, but these are completely see-through. What? How could they not show you that in the image? Come on, Miss guided uh, the actual pants are lovely but I'm not quite sure like maybe if you wore nude pants would you not be able to see it maybe it's because it's just under the lights but these are some palazzo pants that are in this prison stripe they've just got a zip at the back I got them in a six, but they look like they've come up a little bit big. To be fair, the quality of these isn't amazing. Like they've got quite a few bits of like loose string, and then as you can see at the back, because they use a black zip, because probably that's like the easiest, cheapest zip. On the white, you can really see the stitch work, but I'm still hopeful. Hopeful, hopeful. They've got some little pockets, and the reason I picked up these stripy pants is to go with this rival closet top that I'm in love with. So this is a jersey crop, and not only is it really cool because it's cropped and it's in this sort of like stripy pattern, but corduroy jersey fabric, and it's got this really nice neckline, but it's got like a cutout shoulder. This kind of makes me think of like a shark's come along and bitten out part of your shoulder of your top, but it looks insane. Like honestly, it looks so nice on. The quality is beautiful. And then even at the front, so this is so like edge for me, so edgy. At the front, it's like shorter at the front than it is at the back. And it kind of, if I had side boob, I feel like side boob would be out, not side boob, under boob under boob but I don't have any under boob so no under boob comes out this is either gonna look like a really fashionable outfit or like Misha escaped prison for wearing too much pink as in I went into prison for wearing too much pink I escaped because I'm secretly an evil genius I think can I just say I am the most fashionable prison cell person you ever did see. I think this looks so cool together. I am so pleased because I didn't consider the fact that these stripes are going along and then these stripes are going down. So theoretically it shouldn't work. But I personally think it does. And these are see-through, but you can't actually see anything, which is brilliant. They do come up quite small. These are a six and they fit me like reasonably tight. So I would maybe size up. But can we see the beautiful quality of this top? This cool little cutout feature, which shows my nice little sexy shoulder. Then we've got the short to long situation. This outfit is just so cool like I actually kind of look cool which is very hard for me to pull off a pair of jeans now I've never actually really tried out misguided jeans I've tried them once in the stall they have in Birmingham uh, Selfridges but I was never a fan so I thought I'd try some out with these jazzy frayed edges now I'm liking this like fake pocket that isn't there but looks like it would be and these are a four R in Sinner high waist authentic skinny. Now these do look quite small, so I'm not sure they're gonna fit me. But they're just like your typical ripped jeans, jazzy, lovely. These look really nice denim quality. We're gonna grab probably the nicest coat you have ever seen from Rival Closet. Are we ready for this? This is literally this is so Misha, it hurts. And I know we're talking about going a little bit different. But when you see this, you will understand why I just had to share it. A velvet pink cropped puffer jacket. Talk about the world's most adorable Michelin man. I am absolutely in love with this jacket. It is so cute, so cosy, so warm, so heavenly. I just can't. I feel like the most glamorous Michelin man in the world in it. So this is a grey t-shirt. 
and it's quite a nice shade of grey, I won't lie. And this is actually like a full on band tee because it says Guns N' Roses. So I'm basically um, a band girl now, yeah. Heavy metal and all that. These are quite like an oversized fit. I'm annoyed Miss kind of don't do an extra small in these t-shirts because I feel like that would be a better fit on me, but we'll see when I have them on. So this is a Guns and Roses top and it has Guns and Roses on it. Hello, is this Misha in a fashionable yet casual outfit? What's going on? It's a new revolution. Okay, so this coat is genuinely like a puffy dream. I feel so snug and warm it. I plan on taking this to Paris with me when me and Chloe go for my birthday because it's just such a beautiful statement piece that cannot be missed. Underneath, we've got this t-shirt. Now, I managed to actually match the color of the Guns N' Roses rose perfectly to the jacket. Let's pretend I did that on purpose. Really didn't. But anyway, moving on to the misguided jeans. Now, I love these jeans. They are such a lovely denim. The fit of the leg is beautiful. But my only problem is here. Like, why do they give you a baggy crotch? I don't want a baggy crotch. They're just like a high rise, which I wouldn't typically go for, but I think they do sit quite nicely. And like this bit, it isn't completely off-putting, but... I mean, obviously when you wear the long t-shirt, you can't actually see it, but I think this is such a nice, casual, yet fashionable outfit for the, is it autumn, winter, are we spring, win, winter, spring? I don't even know what season we're in right now, but whatever season we're in, this would look good. So, next we have some sort of like a band tee sort of style pieces. So, I'm into t-shirts. But I thought I'd try out some kind of band tees, slash this isn't really a band tee. This is a white tee. I think if I say tee one more time, I'm going to hit myself. Oh, this is kind of quite oversized, actually. So it's a size small, and it says Aries on it. I'm a Pisces, but this was the only one, and I liked the bit of pink and glitter. So, you know, just kind of combining my style with this more alternative look we're going for. So, yeah, I do think this has come up quite big and boxy, but my plan is to team this with... I don't know if this is going to look right, but I'll try. We've got this skirt. Now, I thought this was plain grey. Turns out it's kind of stripy, so I don't know how to feel about it. think I probably should have just gone for a plain white tee. But it's just another one of those Zara-esque skirts that I absolutely love. Now, this is an extra small, but it does look like it's come up a little bit big. And, I mean, the quality isn't the same as the Zara one, but it's a different fabric, so ultimately you, you don't expect the same. So, now, to pair with it, I've got the world's warmest, coziest, best quality knitwear cardigan from Rival Closet. I have my one from River Island behind me, and this one literally trumps it, because it's so much better quality, it's so much thicker. I am in love with it. There's an Instagram brand called like Mum and She or Mum something, I can't even remember. And there's a like $500 or 500 euros, 600 euros, I don't even know. But this is literally a tenth of the price. And I think these can be worn in so many different ways. So cosy yet fashionable. And I feel like the most fashionable grandma when I wear it. Like a little Aunt Bessie's advert. So I'm hoping this outfit looks somewhat put together. Because when Misha goes grey, she goes like, she goes to town on the grey. Okay, so this look turned out better than I thought. But I still think that just a plain white t-shirt might have worked better. That's Misha just trying to add too much into an outfit, but it's fair to say the star of the show is this grey knit. It's honestly so cosy, it's such incredible quality, and I just look like a knitted pudding, and that's what everything I need in life. Then the skirt actually does fit really nicely, and it's better quality than I expected. I think these two go perfectly. It's just this Aries t-shirt, even though I'm not born... Is Aries like April? August. Oh. August, but Anya's a... Yeah, beginning of August. Oh, okay, through the beginning of August, you can get yourself this Aries t-shirt. I just don't necessarily think the styles all go. I think I've tried to put too much together, but these two items together, winning. This item separately, winning. 
final item from Rival Closet is a little bit more of a spring summer piece, but you never know. You could, well actually no, you could wear this going out in winter, or you could wear this with tights, or you could wear this when you're going on your tropical holidays in the winter times, because some of us do do that. Sadly I'm not, but you know, it's fine. I had enough holidays last year, I'll accept. So this is an incredibly classy little play suit from Rival Closet and now I'm like, if you can see I've tried this on but this is kind of like that white and black stripy t-shirt because it's got missing bits so by itself it would probably just be quite a plain stripy play suit with this ruffle down the v-neck front but on this arm it's got an off the shoulder with a little strap and a long sleeved and then on this arm it's got like a proper strap rather than just a little mini strap a missing shoulder and then a sleeve so can we see that it's like a bit more alternative so you're kind of like you're at an angle I don't know I don't know what the technical term is but it's not symmetrical which I really like because it makes a more simple piece a lot more interesting and you could style this in so many different ways you could even pop it with knee highs and wear it at this time of year so I'm digging that. Last but by certainly not least we have this adorable play suit. Now I love the sort of unsymmetrical, uneven, can't think of what the technical term is, look to the shoulders and it's just so pretty. Like it's that easy throw on piece when you don't know what to wear and you have absolutely nothing to wear. You're like I'll wear the play suit from Rival Closet. They got me. So yeah, really easy. Also, you could probably eat and you wouldn't really be able to tell, which gives clothes like a plus 10 in my books, because we all know that food is priority. That is everything from my misguided and rival closet haul. I love, I think I love all the pieces. I most certainly love all the rival closet pieces. Don't know about some of the misguided pieces, we'll have to see. But you guys will have seen all of them on now. Let me know which one was your favorite outfit. Let me know if you pick up any of the pieces. I do actually have a discount code for you all with Rival Closet, which is, let me check, I'm notorious for not knowing discount codes and not remembering them. So I'm actually gonna go and check, rather than just cop out. Happy 15. So happy 15, it gets you 15% off everything at Rival Closet. Don't quite have a discount code for Misguided, maybe one day, but yes. Happy shopping, let me know what was your favourite, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys all next time. Make sure to give this video a like, make sure to subscribe, and I love you lots. Bye! Mwah.